ever wanted to know how artists create the perfect outline for their artwork, uh, tips from a professional artist, uh, let's get into it. So there are a few different methods of creating your outline for your artwork. So there is kind of, I'd probably say like four main ways of doing that. Uh, first we have gridding. So essentially we create a grid on the reference image that we want to utilize and then we replicate that grid on our material that we're working on so whether that's a canvas or a piece of paper we replicate that grid exactly within the same scale so that what we can do now is freehand looking at our grid our gridded reference image and then our work that we're working on and work square by square by square to get the detail exactly how it needs to be i would say the gridding is pretty long-winded it does take a while yeah and i actually like oh i hate that method hate it. The next method is obviously just general freehanding. So looking at your reference image and doing the best that you can to put it down on the canvas or piece of paper or whatever you're working on, just using your eye. You can use tools and tricks and things like holding your thumb out like this and like measuring or like pencils. You can use compasses, rulers, things like that to like measure the distance between stuff. Freehanding is an awesome method. I will often use that for canvases just because I find it really hard to transfer my outline onto a canvas and it gets rubbed out pretty easily. So often I find I'm freehanding and any wildlife portraits and things like that that I do is often freehanding but it does take a lot of practice and yeah, yeah like you can be off just a little bit and it will mess up your whole piece so <laughs> be warned that's my that's my caution. The next method is using projectors. People tend to utilize those especially on the large scale if you know you're doing a massive portrait. So you Essentially you project your image onto your canvas or whatever you're working on in the sizing that you want and then you're just gonna trace the outline of it. I again don't love this method. I find that often the projectors skew the warp the image and it can leave your outline a little bit off or a little bit weird especially if you're doing portraiture that's a problem it can be done especially if you have a more expensive projector it's a little bit easier and um, but the cheaper ones like they blur out you can't see the outlines very well you get a bit of warping so it's not the most foolproof foolproof method um, and my favorite and no one is going to give me hate for this because if you're an artist you will know that tracing, <laughs> I said it, tracing has been around for centuries. Even the old masters used to use a form of tracing. Tracing my outline, I definitely love that. The reason why, it's the quickest method, personally, I think. It is also means I don't have to charge my clients anywhere near as much money. If I had to freehand for five hours just to get an outline that is going to get completely covered up as an outline is literally a guide, I'd have to bill a client for that time. And I can tell you now that they don't give a flying what the outcome or of my outline was all they care about is the outcome of the final piece of work just in regards to the tracing so how I like to do it is you can either uh, print your photo out onto paper but you're limited by size if you do that and you can put it on a light box or hold it against a window and then put your tracing paper over the top but I personally like to use my laptop screen because I can blow my image up or shrink it down and I use my yeah either my laptop screen or my iPad and I create my outline on top of that so place my tracing paper on top like a light box and then trace the outline if my artwork's really big I'll just transfer it onto my plasma screen TV and then put the tracing paper over the top of that and then trace over the top so the outlines as big as I need it to be and then obviously you just adjust the size on your using like a HDMI cable run your laptop straight to you to your TV and then you can just in the preview section of like your image on your computer, you can obviously just zoom in or zoom out and then get it the right size that you need it to be for your outline. So those are pretty much the four methods or the main methods that I would say for getting your outline onto your work. I hope that that's been helpful and comment below to let me know what method you do and if I've forgotten anything.